Greetings demons and welcome to another Fortnite item shop video. So this is an interesting one because obviously we're coming in after all the styles reveals and stuff. We did have something new yesterday that I can't remember what it was. Uh, no. Royal Originals, I assume it's in? I don't know. I don't know how to navigate this story anymore. Uh, there was something new though. It doesn't really matter anyway. Um, so yeah, I'm not really expecting anything new, but we'll see for sure. So I guess starting off with the passes, we have the Fortnite Festival Pass and the Lego Fortnite Pass. Uh, Fortnite Crew as well. Then the AWR Trooper is still here. All the Star Wars stuff has remained unchanged. A lot of good stuff though. Uh, just a little thing, I did mention it in today's video, but if you are wanting the Darth Maul wheels, red lightsaber boost, or the Beskar bundle, get them in Rocket League. It is ever so slightly cheaper, and in general just it works out better for everyone. You do get them across both games, so don't worry about it only being available in Rocket League or whatever. You do actually get everything for both. Uh, so yeah, that is actually where I got both my Darth Maul wheels and red lightsaber boost. Uh, definitely more worth it in my opinion. It's just slightly, slightly cheaper. And, you know, at the end of the day, they're cross compatible. You get everything in, every, in both games anyway. Uh, yeah, Han Solo, Leia, St Stormtrooper, Boba Fett, all the same stuff. Ooh, we do have the Rise of Skywalker stuff. So we do have Rey with Lego style, the Jedi Order Batbling, Finn with Lego style, the Resistance Batbling, Sith Trooper with Lego style. One of my favourite skins, honestly, especially from sequels. And the Sith Trooper Blaster Batbling, very good Batbling. We have the Order and Peace Bundle with Raised Quarterstaff, the Vibro Scythe, and the Riot Control Baton. And then the Starfighter Bundle with the First Order TIE Fighter, and the Y-Wing. Very nice. Get those separately if you want. There's also Kylo Ren with his Lego style. And the cape, which does have options for hood up or hood down, but obviously it only works with Kylo. Uh, Zori Bliss with her Lego style. And then we have the Dark Side emote, which obviously works real well for both um, Kylo Ren as well as Darth Vader if you do have him. The Resistance Thumbs Up, which obviously works well for Finn, Han Solo, uh, a number of characters realistically. And this is a way. This is the way. Very cool. Little speed bike. Another very good emote. All the emotes are very, very cool. Uh, they're mad about, mad about me still here. All the Lego kits are still here. Or, well, I say all. Only two rows of them are now here, which is kind of worrying in a way, but I well. Bright Living. NBA stuff is still here. Pretty cool. Signature style. We've got Deep Sea Bundle with Deep Sea Dominator. Lego style. Octo Tank. Deep Sea Destroyer with Lego style. The Rebreather, Kraken Axe, and Nautilus. You can, of course, get all those separately if you want. Sea Wolf and, uh, what is it called? Sea Wolf and Buccaneer Bundle with Sea Wolf, of course. He has his brown style. Lego style. The Barrel and Booty, which has the Anchor Map style. We have Buccaneer, very good skin in my opinion. Does have a no eye patch style, which does change the look pretty significantly. Buccaneers Lego style, which is also the base style if you do want it. Uh, we have the Seaworthy, which has both an anchor map and treasure chest style. Very nice. Then the High Seas Pickaxe, Jolly Roger Glider, the Raining Doubloons Emo, and the Spyglass Emo. Which, isn't this new? Does it actually say? The Spyglass was like a recent release anyway. I know it has a Lego style as well. Ambitious, which I can't play unfortunately. Sterling is back, has his Lego style. And the Diamond Star Bubbling. We have Wire, wire Tap, even not Wire Trap, with Lego style. And the Light Intel Bubbling. We have Blockade Runner with Lego style. And the Angled Intercept Bubbling. Silver Sledge, okay. Plasma Circuit. And then Honey Dancer, this is a new skin. I think this might have been yesterday's new skin. Uh, Lego style. And the Floral Flutters back bling. Very, very nice. Yeah, not new currently, but new to yesterday, I do believe. Then we have Battle Hound. With his Lego style. And the Crested Cape back bling. We have Valkyrie. With her Lego style. 
and the Valkyrie Wings Weapling. Frostwing, very cool glider. Then we have Arc with Lego Style and the Arc Wings Weapling. Virtue. And then we have Spider Knight with Lego Style and Spider Shield. Jitter Shock, very good skin. Uh, does have a FX off option. Lego Style. Jitter Vault Weapling. And the Jolt Carver, which does once again have FX on or off. Very good bundle, realistically. Camille is still here. Lego style. Hard attack, spec bling. We have the Rat Tail. Rattus Rappus. And the Street Rats loading screen. You do obviously have the option to change between Battle Tail and Standard. And then for the back bling, it's just reactivity on or off. Yeah, those separately if you want. Though, realistically, why would you? Uh, and then FN FNCS is still here, Level Up Quest Pack is still here, Billy Eilish is still here, all the gem tracks are the same as they have been the last few days, all the GIF Festival is the same, Sight Wrench is all the same, Sentio is still here, Special Ops Bundles have not changed, and that is everything. So, surprisingly enough, uh, other than the fact that we have the Star Wars sequel trilogy stuff back, nothing new, which is kind of interesting, but. Yeah, not unexpected by any means. But yeah, that is going to be it for the shops. Thanks for watching, subscribe, all the jazz, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Luna Rainbow Flag, Happy Pride, Rabbit with Facts, Streamer Let's Play, Dave them I like dinosaurs, FNAFN, Troll, not the leader of a cult, Rabbit with Facts, it's Luna.